What's up, Cigar Junkies? It's your boy Carson, also known as Ash Head, and I am the Cigar Junkie. And to guys, today I will be smoking and reviewing the Kingdom by Isambar on Ash Head TV today. Guys, I'm here smoking the Kingdom by Ism Bar and a beautiful, shiny, veiny, Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper on this cigar, guys. We're gonna cut this cigar. Just gonna give it a little perfect cut with a little perfect cut. And we're gonna do a little dry pull. Oh man, <clears throat> that is sweetness. Um, on that dry pool, you get a lot of dried fruit sweetness. That is incredible. That is incredible. This is a Robusto Extra. And as we get into smoking the cigar, I'll tell you guys more about this company, Isambar, if you've never heard of it before. Had an opportunity to smoke some of their cigars before and I found them very good. And to my findings, found out that this one is actually a excellent cigar from them very very good cigar from them one that I definitely recommend you go out and get the website is at the bottom of the screen and in the description below Guys, we're gonna allow this cigar to heat up and all those tobaccos to heat up. And we're gonna come back and give you guys some information on this kingdom by Isambar. Guys, about a, a little over half of an inch into this cigar, I'm getting some nuttiness. I'm getting um, those sweet tobacco notes that um, give me nuances of dry fruit. Um, I am getting just a little bit of pepper, just a little, not a whole lot of pepper, just slight pepper on the back of my tongue. Retro hell, very floral. Cigar is very aromatic. A lot of like floral notes that I can smell coming off the foot of this cigar. Guys, so far, so good. I'm going to smoke this cigar down some more. Then I'm going to get into who Isambar is so that you can get familiar with this company and this great cigar. Wanted to talk about the construction of this cigar. This, the ash has held on to this cigar and it has just been stuck in dimes, no flakiness or anything for the entire first third of this smoke. The first third of this cigar has been very, very good, guys. All those notes that I mentioned in the beginning that I noticed when I was only a half of an inch into the cigar stayed steady. The pepper kind of ramped up a little bit. Then some coffee notes came into the cigar that were very, very good, like a medium roast coffee that came in that was very, very good. I am thoroughly enjoying this cigar so far. Um, I only hope things get better and better as I smoke through this great cigar. Now, this cigar is wrapped in an Ecuadorian Rosado wrapper. It also has a Nicaraguan binder from Esteli and, a, and Nicaraguan fillers from the Jalapa Valley. 
all of that comes together to make what I think a very, very good cigar. Now this cigar was named after a great British inventor. And his name, I'm not, I, I hope I don't butcher the name, but it is Esther Barden Kingdom. And I can't pronounce the last name. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough name to pronounce. So guys, go to the website and read the story behind the cigar and behind how this cigar was named. But the owners of Estebar Cigars, they named this cigar after that great inventor because he was a lover of cigars in addition to being a great engineer. Um, his love for cigars was extensive. He was even said to smoke 40 cigars a day is on the website. I'm not making this stuff up. 40 cigars a day. Which brings me to a good question. Comment below. How many cigars do you smoke a day? Or what's the most cigars that you have smoked in one day? I'm going to smoke this cigar down past the halfway point, And then I am going to come back after the little one second little break clip. And I am going to tell you how many cigars I smoke in a day. And what's my smoking pattern? Like, how do I choose what I'm going to smoke when I'm going to smoke it throughout the day? And what's the most cigars I've smoked in one day? Guys, smoke this cigar down to the band. And what a nice band. It's a, um, the band is probably about an inch and a half long, maybe even two inches long. And the band actually pays homage to the gentleman that this company is named after the great engineer because on the band, and this glued on good, I, can't, I can barely get my nail up under to get it off. On the band, it has the like engineering blueprints of some sort with the drawings of the sprockets and all of that stuff on it. Guys, I want to refer you to go to the description as well and check out the website for Isambar Cigars. Very good website. Tells the whole history of whom this cigar was named after as well as what they do and why their cigars are named what they're named. Um, talks a lot about the company. You can really get to know the company very well by visiting their website. I'm not going to try to give it to you all in one video because we ain't got that much time. So guys, second third of the cigar has been great. Um, still getting that nuttiness, very, very creamy. The texture of the smoke of this cigar is just very um, creamy and soft, um, kind of fluffy if that's a way to describe it. Um, oakiness coffee flavor notes um pretty complex cigar just in the halfway point of this cigar um how many cigars do you smoke a day how many cigars do i smoke a day it varies it varies anywhere from three to five cigars the most cigars i've ever smoked in one day has been about eight to ten cigars kind of forget because sometimes i'll just be smoking smoking on an off day or maybe on vacation and I'll get through smoking one and go back to smoke, smoking another one. But how do I decide at what point of the day or what time of the day what I'm going to smoke? Now, traditionally, someone will tell you, start your day off with something milder, something like a Connecticut, something you could drink with your coffee or whatever your morning beverage is, something that's not real heavy or not real harsh or offensive and end your day with a heavier or stronger or more complex, stronger in strength cigar. I don't always use that method. Sometimes it just varies for me to answer the question that I put out there. It varies for me. It's um, just really what I feel like smoking at that time. But 
90% of the time, I do end the day with a lighter cigar. Also, before we go any further, this cigar is medium to full on the strength. Very complex cigar. This cigar smokes like a medium to mild cigar. Carson, what the hell does that mean? That means the creaminess and the smoothness of this cigar and how the pepper has tapered off to being just of a hint. You can really get surprised by the strength in this cigar when you're smoking it because it, it is just so smooth and creamy. You can tell they're using some very, very good tobacco in this cigar. And guys, we got to um, another thing we got to do is as cigar smokers, let's not always think that the big conglomerates are the ones who have the best tobacco. A lot of your boutique companies, smaller companies, they are able to get their hands on some very, very good tobacco from Ecuador, from Nicaragua, from the Dominican Republic, and from all of these places, from a lot of these great factories that put out great tobacco and they come up with some great blends like this kingdom by Isambar cigars and you'll find out that if you just venture out and smoke some stuff that you don't smoke all the time or just take your chances on some things you may find a great cigar usually I'll start my day off with something in the um, Robusto or Rothschild Corona or Petite Corona size um, because I'm usually getting ready for work. I'm smoking a cigar, I'm showering and I'm everything doing all of that while smoking a cigar and I'm usually smoking something smaller. And then by the time I get into my day, usually by that time I'm at work and I'll usually just pick out something just based upon the way I'm feeling. Usually my first cigar once I get to work it's usually something that I have not smoked either in a while or maybe something I haven't smoked before because I got a little time to really think about it. I don't have a lot of customers coming in. I don't have a lot of work to do around the shop other than just um, doing just housekeeping things. And then I'll smoke something like that. Then as the day go on, I'll lunchtime come around. I'll look for something that I really, really like. I'll look for something that that has been like a, a top choice for me and then I'll smoke that. And then later on in the day, as I get into the late afternoon, maybe the evening, then I'll start smoking something milder back to something that's a little bit on the smaller side, um, like a Robusto um, a Rothschild size cigar or either a Corona size cigar, Lonsdale cigar or a um, or even a um, Lancero size cigar, something that's smaller where I can smoke it possibly fast or something that um, just won't take up too much time is what I'm trying to say. I got the rambling on guys, apologize for that. But this cigar guys, I highly recommend. If you have smoked this cigar before, let me know. If you're going to smoke this cigar, go down in the description. Um, it'll have the information where you can get this cigar from. It'll have the website information. And I want all you guys to try this cigar because I am 100% positive that most of you who smoke this cigar will like this cigar. My guy, feel you will like this cigar. Um, thick smoke. I know you guys see the real thick smoke, real creamy, soft smoke like a cloud, man. This is this is just a very very well constructed, well put together with some great tobaccos in this cigar. This is what you want to smoke out of a cigar. There are some times I smoke cigars and I'll say this is what a cigar is supposed to be like. When you smoke a cigar, this is the experience that you want to have. The Isambar Kingdom is the experience that you want to have when you're smoking a cigar. 
whatever your preference is of the type of tobacco, whatever your preference is on the size or whatever, you will like this cigar. Like I said earlier, this is a um, Robusto Extra. So this cigar is like, a, this is a six and a half by 52 ring gauge cigar. Not too big, not too small, just kind of in the middle average size for a cigar. This is about an hour and a half to two hour smoke, depending on how you smoke, whether you smoke really slow. Um, I probably got about 30 minutes left on this cigar. And I will nub this cigar out because it is definitely a good one. And again, one that I highly recommend. I just wanted to introduce you guys to a company that you may not have heard of before um, and a cigar that you may haven't smoked before. I want to encourage um, all of my cigar smokers, whether you are a novice smoker or whether you are a veteran smoker, to just venture out outside of your comfort zone sometime. When you go into the humidors of your your local B&Ms or if you're online, grab something that you've never smoked before or maybe something you've never even heard or never even seen reviewed and you might just discover a diamond in the rough that you can talk about and that you can tell somebody else about. Hey, I want to give a big shout out to truck driver Bobby is what I call him. Truck driver Bobby, man, he comes through every time he swings through Alabama. He'll drop off um, just a gift package. Never wanting anything in return. He'll I'll answer the phone. Hey, what you doing? You at the shop? What time you close? I got something you need to try. That's what he'll say. I bet you ain't never smoked this. I bet you ain't never smoked that. Hey, I remember you saying you've been looking to smoke one of these. I got you one. And he come through with love and with gifts. Um, he's an average watcher. He um, he's an avid. He watches the channel and he religiously watches um, Lee Mac 912. And he always tell me to give Lee Mac a big shout out. He's been smoking the 1502 cigars based off of one of Lee Mac's past videos. He mentioned to me the last time. So brother Lee Mac, the goat. You're doing a great job, man, as far as your recommendations with cigars and people are definitely following and loving what you're doing. Guys, thank you for watching. I'm going to continue to nub this cigar out. Ash Head out. Talk too much. Cigar almost burned out.